to our channel. Welcome to this week's episode of Becoming a Dog Owner, or is it Becoming a History Buff? Today we're covering the fascinating history of the Hungarian Vizsla. I had so much fun researching and learning more about Willa's origins. So thanks so much for tuning into this week's episode. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content. All right, let's dive in. The Hungarian Vizsla, a breed of dog considered to be one of the oldest known hunting dogs, has a history surrounded by myth, folklore, and legend. Although there's some debate over the validity of evidence, some sources suggest that Vizslas could be thousand year old breed that has existed since the time of the Magar warriors. That the Vishla was used by the Magar cavalry and over time it became the companion dog of early warlords and barons. And having faced near extinction twice in the modern world, the Vishla has a long and colorful history. The Vishla was developed as an all-purpose hunting dog capable of working in a variety of terrains and conditions. And over time, the breed was refined through selective breeding, resulting in the modern day Vishla that we know today. Over a thousand years ago, Magar warriors who lived in the Carpathian Basin bred the ancestors of the modern Vishla to match their cavalry speed and strength. The Magar warriors were Asian nomads who swept into Europe after the disintegration of the Roman Empire and established a home base in the land now called Hungary. The Magyars were a kingdom on horseback. The fortune of these marauding horsemen depended on breeding mounts of great speed, endurance, maneuverability, traits that the Jaegers also bred into their dogs. Later, Vishalas were the companion dogs of the early warlords and barons, as the ancient Egyptians taught the Romans a thousand years before. A nobleman looks a bit nobler with an elegant dog by his side. In primitive stone etchings, the Vishla is seen alongside a hunter and his falcon. For centuries, the land-owning aristocracy guarded the Vishla, preserving their pure blood while developing the hunting ability of these yellow pointers, identified by the golden rust coloration from tip to tail. References to the Vishla can be found in a 14th century manuscript known as the Vienna Illuminated Chronicle, confirming the idea that the Vishla is an old breed of hunting dog. The illustrations prove that the breed has been kept pure for centuries. They were undoubtedly used for hunting small game, such as hare, upland birds, and waterfowl. It is believed that this is where they were taught to set. Efforts to develop a modern breed of pointing dog in Hungary did not get underway until the middle of the 18th century, when Hungarian hunters, like hunters across Europe, started to shoot birds on the wing. By the mid-1800s, there was a fair number of local breed Vishlas, and by the 1880s, we find the first records of the Megar Vishla in public competition. The breed's popularity grew throughout Europe, and the Vishlas were used by hunters and sportsmen throughout the continent. By 1900, there were so few Vishlas left in Hungary that many worried the breed could disappear completely. Fortunately, a few dedicated supporters decided to take action. They searched the country for any Vishla that appeared to be pure of blood and managed to find enough to begin the regrowth of the breed. Unfortunately, despite these efforts, the breed's decline continued. By 1914, the Vishla was nearing extinction. In November 1916, in a last such effort, Dr. Tabor Fiorski published an article in the local hunting magazine appealing to his fellow countrymen to save the Magar Vishla. He succeeded in rallying enough support for the cause and breeding efforts were renewed. But by then, in 1920, the breed received another tragic setback. With the signing of the Trinian Peace Treaty, Hungary lost parts of its territory to Czechoslovakia, Romania, and Yugoslavia. Many Vishlas remained outside of Hungary and were lost to breeders that were trying to revive the breed. However, the political situation did lead to an increased nationalism in Hungary, which led patriotic Hungarian breeders to redouble their efforts. They established the Hungarian Vishla Club and created the first stud book for the breed in 1920. By 1940, the population of the Vishlas in Hungary was approaching several thousand, and it looked like the breed was out of the woods. Then, yet again, the devastation of war 
dealt the Vishla another near extinction threat, reducing the population to dangerously low levels. In 1947, reconstruction of the breed got underway in a state-sponsored breeding farm near Budapest. Dogs with known pedigrees and those without pedigrees but meeting all the criteria for appearance and hunting ability were used to recreate the Vishla. During World War I and World War II, the breed was nearly extinct due to conflicts and their impact on Hungary's economy and society. However, the breed was saved by a few dedicated breeders who worked to revive and restore the breed. In the years following World War II, the Hungarian Vishla was introduced to the United States and other countries, where it quickly gained popularity as a versatile hunting dog and a companion animal. Word spread to the American dog lover, Frank Tolman. The Vishla was a breed known only by reputation in the United States, and Tolman was intrigued. Frank Tolman and his family went to Rome to find the Vishla. They arrived stateside in 1950, the first of many bootlegged imports who became the foundation of the Vishla in America. In 1952, sorry, the Vishla made history by giving birth to the first American bred Vishla. Today, the Vishla is a popular breed around the world, prized for its intelligence, loyalty, and athleticism. Through centuries, the breed has maintained a unique position for a sporting dog and that of a household companion and family dog. After a hunt, the Vishla is not content to be put in the kennel with the other dogs. Instead, this breed reaches its full potential only when accepted as a family member. That's so sweet. This was such an incredible story to research. And after everything, I must say, the tremendous courage and dedication of the Hungarian patriots who developed a national breed of dog and kept it alive through two world wars, a violent revolt, and decades of political oppression. The truth of the matter is that brave Hungarian hunters kept this Vishla alive, and I'm beyond thankful to them because our family would not be the same without our little V. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and tune in every Friday for a new video drop or shorts every day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.